Hi everyone! In this video, I'm going to be looking at some of the keyboard shortcuts in Microsoft Teams. There are a lot of different shortcuts you can use, but I've selected a few that I think are actually worth using, as some seem more complicated than actually just clicking the button itself. So the first one we have is Control and the Common button. And what that'll do is that'll open your settings up. The next one is to start a new chat. So you just press Control and N, and that opens up a new chat window for you. The next one is Control 1. That will take you to your activity feed. You then have Control 2 to open chat up. Control 3, which will take you to your Teams. Control 4 will open your calendar. Control 5 will open Calls, and Control 6 will take you to Files. You can then also set custom shortcuts. So as you can see here, when I did the 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, and 6, that's the order that your apps are in your left toolbar. So if you create a custom app, say I want to access our check-in apps, I can press Control 9 as the ninth app on my board, and it will take me to that. So if you, were, if you were to rearrange or replace these, the numbers would change in accordance to that. If I go back into our chat, I can use Control F, and that will allow me to search this chat for a particular word or phrase. If you press Control and Enter when you're typing a message, that will allow you to send the message as an expanded compose box. But to expand the box, you can use Control, Shift and X. As you can see, that will give you a few more formatting options. And then once you've typed in there, let's put that in bold, you then use Control and Enter to send from a Compose box. And finally, to start a new line, you can use Shift and Enter when you're in the Type a New Message box. So next, I'm going to hop on a video call. So the first one I'm going to show you is Control, Shift and E, and that is the option to share your screen. Next we have Toggle Mute, so this is to switch your mute on and off. So to do this you use Control, Shift and M, and you can see up here my mute button is going on and off as I select it. You can then also toggle video. So to do this, you use Control Shift O. So that's if you want to switch your video camera on and off. And then to bring up the settings for background. So if you want to use background blur or a custom background, you can use Control Shift P to bring up this menu. If we leave the meeting, the final one I want to show you is to actually access a list of all the sh keyboard shortcuts. And to do that, you just press Control and full stop. 